believable my dear the thing is coming up oh, apc guys are beginning to talk to buhari say prevail on tinubu to quit the presidential race they tell tinubu they are telling buhari to tell you know to prevail on tinubu to quit is it not too late to quit i'm just asking i don't know is it not too late to quit they are telling him that you know you should tell tinubu to quit that uh, what's happening right now is that uh, tinubu cannot represent the party I don't, I don't think Tinubu himself will even agree. Have you heard of the word Emilokon? Why investigate the meaning of that word? When somebody, that word has joined the lexicon of words today. Eh? Emilokon. Hmm. They are creating West Scan City and they redesign who new ink in the Naira to do this and they think that, eh, hey, Emilok, what are you saying? Hmm. You don't understand it at all. You don't get a cue. Hmm. You don't understand it. Anyway, my people, this is what is going on. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Prevail on Tinubu to quit the presidential race. Kachi Wu tells Buhari, the presidential candidate of the African Democratic Congress, ADC, Mr. Dumibi, has appealed to President Muhammad Buhari to prevail on the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, to withdraw from the presidential race. Dumebi, who addressed a press conference in Abuja after a two weeks isolation due to COVID, alleged that Tinubu has no business being in this race or counting the or parts of those who should be participating in this race at all. He lamented that the country was in a current mess because. Buhari's government failed to deliver on his electoral promises to Nigerians when his health failed on assumption of office in 2019. He warned against the repeat of what Nigerians are currently experiencing under Buhari's prevailing government under the APC and said such could happen again if the APC presidential candidate do not quit and eventually happen to have a chance. Do may be noted that he was not against an older person contesting election, but that this wasn't comfortable with a candidate, but that he wasn't comfortable with a candidate with significant con conjugitis, disabilities, embarrassing our nation because they'll be speaking with other international bodies and making a mockery of the entire political process. He said eight years ago, there was parable tension in our land as the, few, as the fever for change gripped Nigeria, mostly our youth, anyone, everybody but President Jonathan, they said, must go. The APC skillfully manipulated the mind and emotions of Nigeria, using that as a ride to come on board to deliver the so-called reform dictatorship that President Muhammad Buhari promised the people but never delivered. Eight years later, we are here, and now we know better. When people say change, we should ask them, change in what direction? Every, even children don't want to hear the word change. We are in a mess because we, did, we, because we, don't, we didn't question them at, accordingly what change they were inferring to. We fail to see the connection between the government, the governance and the people because for so long the Nigerian has ex experienced more difficulty than you can imagine in the name of Nigerian people. He added, I personally believe that President Muhammad Buhari has some good intention in mind, but he ran for office and was also his health failed. He could not com continue in governance. Today, the same thing is happening already. This one, the health has failed even before the government began. So we must be careful and we must be very careful in de dealing with this. With sick people who want to represent us, another sick candidate for the Nigerian people, there is nothing wrong with an older person or a sick person, but not one that is not capable. What I do have a problem with is a candidate with significant congenital disabilities, embarrassing my nation and making a mockery of the entire political process. Senator, Ahmed Bola Tinubu has no business being in this race in the first place. He should discontinue. President Muhammad Buhari should go ahead and prevail on him to ensure he steps down. He said it is his turn, and I agree. It is his turn to do the honorable thing by withdrawing from the race. It is his turn to stand for Nigerians. I call on his... 
I call on him, Tinubu's family, his party, APC, and President Muhammad Buhari to prevail on him to do the right thing. I also call on the Independent National Electoral Commission to wake up from their slumber and ensure we are rising up. We can't continue to be or we can't continue to be known as a nation that condones shameful election. INEC cannot continue to pretend not to see the voters' indictment that takes place at rallies all, the, all around the country. What of the primaries? What exactly are we aiming at? No sanitization, no punishment. He lamented that most of the presidential candidates were not addressing the challenges confronting Nigerians in the speech at the rally. Yet everyone is quiet. We must become very vocal and we must ensure that things are done properly. So this is what is happening and uh, we just need to uh, we just need to ensure okay that we do the right thing. You know, we just make sure we need to ensure we do the right thing. Now for Mr. Dumebi, you know, uh, he, he's just saying his mind what he thinks. Okay, he's just saying his mind what he thinks, and so we all just need to ensure that we are rising up to the occasion and we are leaving no stone unturned. For him, he feels very strongly that President Muhammad Buhari should act now. Yeah, he feels very strongly that President Muhammad Buhari should act now because if he does not act, things will go from bad to from you know from sad to bad. He just feels very strongly that Buhari needs to act and act immediately. Yes, because when we keep quiet, we allow bad things to happen we have the opportunity to ensure that good is done but when we keep quiet we do not say anything we, are, we give opportunity for bad things to happen every single one of us are in this together and it's our country you see it's our country so we must not um, allow the same thing to keep us down we must ensure that we are rising up to the occasion and we are doing everything humanly speaking possible to bring us to where we ought to be the days upon us have come to show to us that Nigerians, if we want things to change, if we want this country to be a better place, every single person must act accordingly. Every one of us must do all that is needed to drive us in the right direction. So they are saying prevail on Buhari, Buhari, begging Buhari to prevail on Tinubu to resign. Will Buhari do it? Will Tinubu accept? It's, it's beyond you just saying prevail. Will Buhari do it? Will Tinubu accept? These are very serious well, you know, questions that really needs an answer before we make any further move. Yes, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Remember, Emilio Khan. So you can't just sit back there and pretend at all is well. God bless. Have a fantastic day from us. It's bye for now. Bye-bye.